Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Aware Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding gameplay analysis part 5. The difficulty level of this question is hard and I am going to share the SQL schema as well as the Panda schema in the description box below. Okay, the question reads, we are given a table called activity with 4 different columns, player ID, device ID, event date and games played. The combined columns, player ID and event date is the primary key of this table. This table shows the activity of players of some games. Each row is a record of a player who logged in and played a number of games, possibly zero, before logging out on some day using some device. Okay. The install date of a player is the first login day of that player. We define day 1 retention of some date x to be the number of players whose install date is x and they logged back in on the day right after x divided by the number of players whose install date is x rounded to two decimal places. Write a solution to report for each stall date the number of players that installed the game on that day and the day one retention. Okay, order of the result does not matter. Let's go through this example. So here, what we have is for player IDs 1, 2 and 3. So first day they play this game is basically the install date. So if we look at player ID 1, the install date is 1st of March 2016. For 2, install date is 25th of June 2017. And for 3, it's again 1st of March 2016. So on 1st of March 2016, there are two people who have installed it. And then how many of those players, that is 1 and 3, have logged in the very next day so only player one has logged in the next day right player three has not logged in so one out of two on first of march 2016 is the ratio of day one retention and therefore that is what we have in our output so on first of march 2016 two installs half retention right 0 0.5 and another one is 25th of june 2017 coming from this one player id 2 and obviously they there is only one person who has not logged in the next day so that day one retention is zero okay so to solve this question what we need is we need the install date and install date is basically the first day for every player id so how can we get that we can rank for every player id so what we are going to do is from this table called activity let us keep all the columns and then and let's rank so dense rank since this is a window function so we write over and then we need it for every player id right so partition by player id and we need to order by event date in ascending order so that the first one gets the rank one because that is the install date right so as rank let me go ahead and run this and let's see what do we get in our output okay so if you look at it right so here what we have right now here is okay for every player id we have the rank so this was rank one two one one and two okay what we also need is that for every player id this is your current event date what is the next event date or basically what is the next login date so what we can do is we can find the lead right so that is lead that means get me the next login date so lead of event date column that is the next one and since again this is a window function so over and then partition by the player id and order by the event date column in ascending order and let's alias this entire thing as next login right so as next login let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so now what we have is if i just you know drag it to the left so obviously for player id 1 this is rank 1 that means this is the install date and next login was on 2nd of march similarly for player id 2 3 and so on once we have this then what we can do is let's save this in a common table expression so with cte as this entire thing goes into parentheses and now what do we want in our output so from common table expression we are going to keep only those rows where rank is equal to one why because we need for every install date and install date of a player is the first login day so for every install date we need the number of installs and the day one retention so where rank equal to one let me keep all the columns for now let us see what do we get in our output so if you look at this right now we have that okay 
uninstalled it 1st of March 2016 and 25th of June 2017. These are the players and their next login dates. Now what we can do is since we need it for every install date. So what we can do is we can go ahead and group by this, right? So let us do this group by the event date column. Let us return the event date alias as whatever is required, right? Install date, right? So as install and then what we want is the number of install. That means count star as installs. And then what we need is we need the day one retention. So basically we need to calculate the difference between the event date and the next login. And if it comes out to be one, that means this person logged in on the very next day as well. If not, then no, right? So we can use the sum here to count. How can we do that? Let us learn this. So case when your date difference between the next login date and the event date is equal to one, then you return me one, else you return me zero. And since you started a case when statement, you end it and you do a sum and that is going to give you all those people who have logged in the very next day from their install date. How? If you look at this, right? So for since we grouped by the event date, right? So for example, this row number one and row number three will become one group. So here, if you look at this difference between next login and event date is ex exactly one date. So it will return one here and zero in this case, right? Because it is more than one day. So one plus zero is one divided. And if you divide this by the count star, so on 1st of March 2016, we have two, right? So one divided by two would be 0 0.5. And that is how you get this. So we can divide this by count star and also this needs to be rounded to two decimal places. So round this entire thing to two decimal places and alias this as day one retention. Okay, let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get in our output. So yeah, this is accepted. Let me just look at my output right now. So we have output, which is exactly as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit to surpass all the test cases. So yeah, this is accepted and this is our it. So yes, tricky question. What we basically had to do was firstly, we found out ranked the event date so that we can know that, okay, the first one for every player is the install date. And once we had that, we also found out the next login date of each of the players. And then we kept only those rows where rank equal to one, because that is going to give us the install date of every player. And then we grouped by the event date, which is basically the install date, counted the number of installs and use the sum and case win functions to count and get the day one retention. So yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there's a better, more efficient solution to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video.